poem started out as a letter to a friend and then ran into larger events and ends up now talking to you, my friends, tonight. I regret to tell you, beauty died. If I have the heart to get another cat, I won't name it anything symbolic, but it's a sad world when you can't call beauty, beauty. Her green eyes closed on this gray world, the tenth day of the ninth month. So I was already crying. We grew old together, Beauty and I. We slept through the sunrise. The pigeons still cling to the telephone wire like clothespins. Tight in September's wind, then take wing together in a whoosh. They make it look easy. The doctor said, I'm not supposed to fall. No one should fall, of course. Your bones, he said, are asking to break. See how he makes it my fault? <laughs> Last week I fell running for the phone, desperate for news other than this news. Nothing broke. So there to the medical profession. When I was young, all I wanted was to be beautiful, get laid. Now, Staying upright is my passion. <laughs> I can see my heart beating through my blouse in the mirror. It throbs like a frog's throat in the reeds by the edge of the pond, nightfall aching for love. believe my eyes it's only TV who believes people want to survive optional hardships and expect us to watch <laughs> don't ask me to buy into a plane much less three planes two towers full of Rapunzel's with no long golden ropes of hair I tried every channel. Isn't there a law? They can't all show the same thing at the same time. I have to change providers. This one's fucked. <laughs> Not until I heard the palace guard sing the Star Spangled Banner. Order of the Queen. That was too far fetched to be fake. By then it was too late to run to the TV and catch falling specks in the human air in my cupped hands. That's when I remembered when I was young, learning to read. I put my fingers in the holes, oh black and shiny telephone, to touch all the letters, recessed, because they were precious. That's how new life used to be. I pick up the receiver, fold its tiny holes to my ear, and however fast I did it, a living operator was always there, saying, To whom may I connect you? Where is that operator now, who once linked us to our party line? 
I used to quote Dostoevsky, who said, beauty will save the world. Is that true anymore? Dostoevsky didn't have a TV, and he probably didn't have a cat. But if he did, I bet he couldn't get it to watch TV with him any more than I could with my cat. A cat won't do it. Even if you take its precious head between your hands and make it face the reality show. <laughs> Hell, they won't even watch a sunset. And of course, the sunset is beautiful, my friends. Not just here, where we are, but everywhere in the whole wide world. <laughs>